We continue as we confess our faith, the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. For the faithful proclamation of Jesus Christ to those who do not know him, that through hearing the word of the Lord, many may be brought to faith and to the knowledge of the truth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. For the church of God here and everywhere, that all who confess Jesus Christ may be united in doctrine and witness, defended against all the assaults of the enemy, and either eager to gather together around your word and sacrament in love for one another, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For this parish, for the work of the kingdom in our community, and for the resources to accomplish all that God desires, that his name may be glorified among us, and his purpose fulfilled in our words and works. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For the agencies and institutions through which we love our neighbor and provide for those in need, for the destitute and homeless, and for everyone who suffers unemployment and underemployment, that we may aid them in their needs and assist them to find honorable labor to supply all their needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For the lonely who suffer the burdens of life without friendship or family, for those depressed or weary of pandemic measures, and for the fellowship of the church, that we may bear one another's burdens and live in community with Christ as our head. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For the sick and those who suffer, that God would grant healing to their bodies, peace for their minds, and consolation in their griefs and sorrows. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For love of godly things, that we may delight in God's word and walk in his ways. And for the spirit, that we may be led into all truth and kept from error and false doctrine. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For the nation, for those who lead our nation, for the end of the pandemic, for peace among nations, and for an end to terror and violence, that we may work for the common good so that justice may prevail, life protected, and truth abound. And for those who serve in our armed forces in our nation and around the world, including the National Guard and the chaplains who serve them in all the different places. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. O Lord our God, as we recall the obedient life and life-giving death of your Son for our salvation, we pray to you to strengthen our faith and to make our hearts bold, that we may not fear, but address our prayers to you in all humility. Hear us on behalf of Jesus Christ, our great high priest, who even now stands before you on our behalf, pleading our cause with his own blood, until that day when we are delivered from the changes and chances of this mortal life and stand before you in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. Amen. As uh, we have opportunity to bring our offerings to the Lord, either uh, for some of us by mail or by bringing them here when you come, uh, we uh, give thanks to God for those and we sing the offertory. Watch now.
as our Lord has taught us, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Just uh, one uh, word of, uh, of uh, explanation before we continue. I forgot to do it earlier. Uh, the candle which has been in the center of our altar uh, is our Christ candle. I, we didn't start one uh, at, at Advent, but uh, we began using it on Easter. And uh, we continue to uh, burn that uh, from services usually from Christmas all the way through Ascension Day and with the Ascension of our Lord and his uh, being removed from our visible sight uh, the Christ candle is extinguished so on this Thursday we will be extinguishing the Christ candle and not uh, reusing it until uh, next uh, Advent as well so just just for your information uh, about the usage of that we continue with the benediction <coughs> The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Our closing hymn, 475, Good Christian Friends Rejoice and Sing.
today's the 15th? 16. I don't even know. Um, <laughs> and we're going to also ask Carol to play Happy Birthday for herself, which is the 21st, this Thursday. So we sing for Eliza and Carol. Mm. Happy, Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday, Eliza and Carol. Happy Birthday to you. <clears throat> Thank you, Carol. Uh, so, uh, we have received some indication that uh, our governor is going to be making some announcements, or, the, or his team, his uh, task force, whatever, is going to be making some announcements, perhaps on this coming Friday, about changes in uh, uh, guidance for churches and various other uh, occupations. And uh, so we will uh, be being in touch with you after that point. One of the things that this has changed is that we normally have our uh, annual meeting in May, and uh, the council on, it was the first Tuesday of May, whatever that date was, uh, voted to postpone it until we would see what what changes might be coming down the road with uh, being able to get back together again. Uh, so until we hear that announcement on uh, this coming Friday, we don't know exactly what our, our next move will be. Uh, if we're not allowed a, a large enough group to have our members together, uh, we'll try to do the annual meeting on Zoom. Uh, and uh, 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 I talked to our district office and they said they didn't see any problems with doing that under the circumstances. Uh, so uh, as long as we uh, announce it and, and we need to announce it two weeks in advance. Um, so until this next Sunday, we don't know yet what's happening, but uh, we will let you give you a two week uh, warning before we schedule that. And uh, either in person, if we're able to do that, or in Zoom, which I think uh, many of our people are able to get on uh, as we've done that with our Bible study and with our uh, uh, council meeting so far. So, uh, and, and we've had enough people on those to meet our quorum by any means. So, uh, but we hope we'll be able to find a time to get back together, uh, but we're just not sure exactly what's coming down the road with that yet. So. Uh, can't think of any other announcements, but God be with you, and we'll be looking for our uh, Zoom service on Thursday, Ascension Day, uh, one of the four major holidays of the church year, and uh, being uh, and, and uh, Easter, Ascension, Pentecost, and Christmas. Uh, and that's probably about the order that they started into. Easter, people knew when Easter was, uh, People kind of tried to look back in time to, to uh, figure out when Jesus was born, but that was not something that everybody necessarily wrote down. Uh, uh, but uh, Easter, Ascension, and Pentecost, everybody knew when those took place. So uh, uh, those are the first three major holidays, and then Christmas was added sometime later. But uh, um, it took place earlier, but it was added as an official <laughs> holiday later, just to be clear about that. Uh, so... Anyway, God bless, and hope you can join us for our uh, celebration of our Lord's ascension to the throne of glory on Thursday. God bless.